good morning hi guys um uh it is our second week of school and this morning i got up i had office hours done already today are eating breakfast and watching Superbook and I thought I would take a few moments to kind of show you a little bit of something today. I am thinking I'm going to go ahead and show you homeschool supplies for the new year. It's not a bunch but um, it was what we needed so I figured I'd just go ahead and show you. I actually spent quite a bit of yesterday um, getting more things done and prepared for homeschool. I know it's the second week of school but I've learned that this works out the best to have just a general um, plan for school and then use those first few weeks of school to kind of like walk through the plan and make adjustments and changes so this is like the perfect time for me to set up my um, binders and work boxes like my work boxes aren't done quite yet but I did make through make it through most of their morning binders um, their baskets and now I just oh I'm currently doing their notebooks today yeah so it just works best for me to go ahead and do that um, around the second or third week of school because then I have a better grasp on how the actual days are going with our new plans and our new resources and whatever. So, what did I say? <laughs> I said I am almost all the way through our morning binders. Um, I'm working on our notebooks today. And I just kind of repurposed the composition books we had because we're not getting through all of them. Maybe in the next couple years we'll get to the point where we're filling out the composition books completely. But for right now we make it maybe halfway through um, a lot of them. And I had a ton of them. So um, the ones that weren't really full, I just pulled out the work that we did to include it in our... I'll tell you all about that in a moment though. I just figured I would go ahead and show you what we have for our homeschool supplies before I open them all up and divvy them all up and get them into their morning baskets which I didn't even realize morning baskets were called morning baskets I mean I knew people used morning baskets but I didn't exactly know what their purpose was and then I thought to myself you know I've been using baskets for years and I just shoved some stuff in there for the morning and I was like oh <laughs> that's what a morning basket is <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'm cracking myself up this morning because I need it. I'm gonna try to get some, did you hear them giggling? They just left. They were quiet, they were so quiet, like so quiet, like not one noise until I picked up this camera and now everything is a giggle. Anyway, that's what it is. Another thing I wanna get to, done today is my meal planning because Brian is still on dinner time duty for the first few weeks of school, which thank you, Brian, <laughs> if you're watching. Thank you, babe. We love you. Um, so let me just show you what we have. Hello, girl. Good morning. <laughs> Hi, little girl. <laughs> Hi, little girl. Hi. Somebody just woke up. I feel like you guys always see her in her pajamas. <laughs> Hi, sweet girl. Okay, I'm going to show them what we have for school supplies today. Mm -hmm. If you get dressed, let's do it. Let's do it. Maybe if you get dressed, maybe you can help me. <laughs> okay, I'm currently trying to get some things in order. Okay, so I just went through a bunch of like. Um, papers that I printed out like a few years ago um, things that I was going to use with the boys when they were smaller and I went through to try and purge them but I kind of sort of refused to um, get rid of them like throw them in the trash so it works out that I just kind of purged the things that I couldn't use but I held on to things that um, I definitely could use for Savannah and for the boys actually and I'm going to try to put together some binders. My plan is to use my big stack of binders here that I got from Samso. Um, I'm going to use these to sort through a lot of the papers that I printed out and sort 
through them kind of sort of by subject I'm thinking um, so their Wild Explorer Club stuff I am going to put into three separate binders I'm not sure if I'm gonna do three I don't know I'll figure it out I don't know if I'm gonna do three separate binders or just one binder I just want to go ahead and separate the stuff I have and get them into these binders um, just so that they're better organized I drew this up last night last week was our first week quote unquote back to school and it was just kind of like my orientation week where we went through our new schedule to just really um, go through it each day and figure out what was working and what not might not be working so um, now I actually went ahead and drew up our daily schedule based on the notes that I took from last week the schedule pieces are in a light gray color and then I'm gonna laminate it I'll put a velcro dot right in the middle and then I'm gonna take these and cut them out and laminate them and put them in a little pouch right beside it so when we are actually on our morning basket time they'll take the little piece off and then Velcro it to this part of our schedule. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> you guys got us going? I got the sprinkle one. Yeah, so I'll show you when I'm done because I don't think I did a good job explaining that. But <laughs> and each time we get to a certain part of the day, they're going to get to go and take that part and put it on there. So they will be able to tell what we are currently on and they'll ju it just makes it a little bit more interactive which will help us work our way through our schedule and then I also went ahead and separated any pages that I need to laminate I'm gonna take things that I've lam laminated in the past and I'm ready to use again and I just wanna you know use the things that I have prepared in the past so I think I actually did these a very long time ago um, and I put them up and since then I haven't really used them so I'm like they're so cute and how can I use them so I thought these would be perfect in Savannah's kindergarten binders so I'll show you that in a little bit as well but um, this is just a bunch of stuff that a bunch of stuff that I've laminated in the past and so we're just going to put them to good use. Um, and then these are the pages that I need to currently laminate. So this is from the Good and the Beautiful's chemistry unit. These are just going to get um, hole punched. So... This is what my current situation looks like. I am trying to sort through um, last year's notebooks, clean them out. I had a ton of composition books and I refused to buy new ones. So what I did was take out um, what they completed of the ones that aren't full and um, set them aside to include in our homeschool portfolios. And then I add new labels. So any of the ones that aren't full, I just kind of recycle. And that makes me feel happy. I feel much better about it than going out and buying all new composition notebooks. Um, last night, I did quite a bit of prep and I'm happy with the progress that I made. Um, I worked on their binders. I worked on their schedule. These are our schedule cards. They help us move along in our day and they've been working out really well for the last two weeks. So I love them. Um, so I finished those. Another thing that I'm super excited about is that Cameron just finished reading Wonder yesterday. The look on his face when he finished was priceless. He really enjoyed this book and now he's going to move on to the next. Let's see. We also finished this one yesterday. The Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane. It was so good, you guys. I almost cried at the end. <laughs> and this is our book year, which I'm still going to tell you more about it in another video. So Kendall is working his way through the one and only Ivan. We read this one not too long ago together as a family read aloud. And now he is reading it on his own. So he is about halfway through this one. We're going to go ahead and stick with the same author and... Our next read aloud is going to be The Tiger Rising, so we'll see how that goes. What I was also working on yesterday, which I got some help with, was their morning binders. 
So I'm almost finished with them, but I'm really happy with how they turned out. Today, I think we're going to do self-portraits in order to insert them into the front of the binder. I finished with most of the printables. I'm just not quite finished with all the laminating and all that other stuff. So I will show you these in another video. So the first thing I have is a bunch of glitter glue. You can never have enough glitter glue. The kids love it. I had the pink and blue and red and then I found I found the orange at Ollie's which was amazing because they were like so much less than a dollar. <laughs> That's what you say when you can't remember exactly how much it was. I think it was like 65 cents. So I just picked up picked up a bunch of those. The next thing I got were rulers. I got them in their colors, blue, green, and pink. I like them because they're nice and flexible. This 10 piece math set. I should have gotten two because I want to include this in the boys math work box. So I'm going to have to go back and pick up another one. I also picked up some cap erasers which became a major priority this time around because I realized that none of my pencils ever have any erasers on them. This set of erasers which I thought were super cute so I always like to have some kind of big eraser for them to use that's separate from their actual pencil so I grabbed these. I picked up two packs of the Ticonderoga pencils because there's nothing better than them. Crayola markers of course you have to have some Crayola markers especially when I ran all out of my markers and the kids started using my oldest quality markers is what we call them. Um, their alcohol markers and I was like oh no <laughs> so I picked up like six or seven packs of the bold and bright colors and then the regular colors not the washable kind but are these really not washable you guys I don't know anyway I just grabbed these next up I picked up a pack of expo markers I am fresh out I actually need many more than these but I just started with these um I also don't have any more colored ones they're all dried out so I need to pick those up as well all of my stuff is really basic you guys I'm sorry <laughs> but we use really basic things around here um I just got four packs I think I actually got six packs I'm not sure but I just got the ruled index cards and then I got unruled as well the blank cards this was actually from Amazon this chalktastic um, professional white chalk markers I love using chalk markers this is what I use to write on our sliding glass window and on our mirrors the next thing I picked up which is totally out of the pack because I had to use them is the extra large um, HP ink for my printer this was like a must-have you guys because I print it quite a bit and I always do at the beginning of the year and I try to use things um, print things that I can reuse and you know all that jazz but these are the rest of my ink and I love this ink it lasts um, so long another thing that I pulled out of the pack already I guess this is a theme for me is my glue sticks I actually have a pack of like 10 and I cannot seem to find them because my kids Oh, I feel like they eat glue. Um, I never know where it goes so quickly, but it's okay. <laughs> so these are the ones I managed to find, uh, but I do have several more somewhere, so hopefully I can find them soon. This was a treat for Mommy from Hobby Lobby. I picked up these two super cute erasers. I don't know what I was thinking by getting white erasers, but they're really cute, so they might just be props for a little bit um, until I get up enough nerve to use them. These are the Crayola Super Tips. I've never tried these before, so we'll see how they work, but I wanted to find something that was a much, um, that was a bit finer for Savannah. She's getting a little bit sophisticated with her, um, with her art and her drawings, um, these days. So these are mostly going to be for her. The last thing I got were these highlighters. So I'm really excited about these. These are going to be um, a major deal in our homeschool this year. I'm hoping that it works well, um, but I have a lot of things planned. I am going to be color coding parts of speech and then also really working on our note-taking skills. 
um, in our composition notebook so hopefully I can share with you more about how these are working out I found these and love these because of the color range I love the yellow pink orange green blue and purple I love having all of those different options I picked up two of them and I should have picked up more but I couldn't find them when I went back so I just went ahead and got these big ones good morning good morning sweet girl look who got dressed you look beautiful back up let me see look at her style <laughs> I thought this was so precious because this actually comes out and you know how you can keep things for a few years with little girls and they kind of just turn into shirts or something well one day she came out and she wanted to wear it differently so she came out and tucked it in which I thought was super cute twirl girl <laughs> Okay, so now this is all the stuff I have to clean up. Oh, I had two more things that I forgot to show you guys. I showed you the erasers already, but I got these um, three compartment containers from the Target Dollar Spot. Another thing I picked up, this is for Savannah, these little um, index cards, spiral index cards. I have some ideas for word building with her um, and maybe like prefixes and suffixes, that type of thing. Kind of sort of making a flip book out of them. So I just got this really cute one and then this one here with the unicorns on it. So looks like somebody is ready to read. read. So I'll show you the picture of one day. One day a little boy named Peter asked his mother if he could have a pig. What said Peter's What said Peter's mother? You want a dirty little bad little pig? No, said Peter. I want a clean little pig. And I don't want a bad little pig or a good little pig. I want a good little bad little pig. It's like school. <laughs> it's like a different school than the real books. I've never heard of a clean little pig, said Peter's mom. But let's try to find one. So they sent a letter to a farmer who owned some pigs. So there you go guys, those are our school supplies. Um, I am going to break into them now and start to take them out of their packages and sort them and put them in their baskets and in their work boxes and wherever else we're going to use them. Um, yeah. Another thing that I wanted to chit chat about, oh, maybe that'll be another video. I also have quite a bit of work to do. I make a lot of printables for our homeschool and it has been my intention to share them. It really has. But I just throw together printables a lot of times that are going to work for us. I don't really complete the printables and make them, you know, finish them off in order to share. Um, so I wanted to do a better job at that. And I'm going to talk all about kind of my progress probably like part three of my sacrifices we make to homeschool that'll give kind of an update on how I'm doing managing you know my businesses and photography and homeschool and tell you how that's kind of like panning out anyway just to kind of put it out there there's something called patron that I am currently trying to um, set up my account for and basically it's a site which whoever came up with it is brilliant but it's for creators and artists um, to be able to get support directly from their supporters and people that follow them and enjoy their content or whatever they're creating um, so I have big plans for that. I'm slightly nervous about it because I know that it's different. Well, that's not true. I'm not really nervous about it. It's just new and different and I'm going to have to explain what it is. But, um, I know a lot of you have been waiting for, uh, Teachers Pay Teachers and I had my Teachers Pay Teachers set up and everything and I had full intent to, uh, use it and put videos on there and, um, and all my printables and things like that and it just didn't feel completely right but I think that patron is going to be the perfect fit for me and I'll explain all the reasons why um, very very soon but I think it's going to be 
the perfect fit was in. It's really exciting. It just might take a little bit of time, but I thought I would put the feels out there for now. Have any of you guys ever heard of Patron? I'm really excited about it, about the structure and how I think it will fit in best for um, the type of business that I want to build because you guys already know that um, I am in business in different ways um, but I'm trying to learn how to do business my way um, not led by money and I don't know it's hard <laughs> It's hard, but I'm so grateful for you guys. You guys have supported me so well and loved on me so much and um, I'm so appreciative of that and the grace and the space and the time that you've given me um, and all of my new people here. Hello. <laughs> soon and very soon, once I get all of my things set up and I, I gather like, a, you know, a stronger foundation in our new year of school, then I'll start rolling out some videos, um, some vlog style videos of what our day looks like. Um, because I love seeing that from other people and I love sharing, but I need to get a good handle on how things are actually working for us before I start sharing. So, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in our next video. Bye!